Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ike Mute. If it's your first time here, hello, thank you for joining the family. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys one of my go-to makeup routines. So if this seems like something you're interested in, then stick around and keep on watching. All right, you guys, so I already moisturized my face. That's the first thing I always do. You want to make sure that you moisturize your face no matter the type of skin that you have a moisturizer is really really important and you also want to go in with your sunscreen if you're going out or even if you're staying at home because i'm not going out today but i'm shooting i'm um, right in front of bright lights i wanted to make sure that i have my face covered so i have my sunscreen on i'm just going to go ahead and use my primer now and the primer that i'm using is from dior this is the backstage primer i'm going to have the list to everything that i use written in my description box so in case you're interested you find it there so i like to apply my primer just on the places that i tend to get oily those are the places that i tend to concentrate on when it comes to my primer now that that is done i'm going to go ahead and set my primer and i'm going to be using a loose powder from maybelline this is the fit me powder and i have it in the shade deep and i'm just going to go ahead and use a brush tap that into it dust off the excess and pat it into the places that i already applied the primer and what this does is to help seal um, the primer in and to also help keep my oil in check i have pretty oily skin so setting my primer helps me keep the oil in check a little bit more or a little bit longer basically moving on to foundation i'm going to be using the huda beauty full luminous matte foundation and i'm going to be mixing two shades today i still haven't gotten around to getting my own shade i'm comfortable mixing two shades so the one i'm going to be using today is mocha and ganache i'm going to do two pumps of mocha or maybe one and a half of mocha and a half pump of ganache i like to use a brush to buff that in first before i go over it with a beauty sponge so i'm just going to go ahead and pat that in you want to make sure that you're tapping your foundation in and you are not dragging because if you want full coverage and you want it to blend in seamlessly you want to tap your foundation in instead of brushing instead of um swiping you want to make sure you're patting it in and all the brushes i'm going to be using today are from aliexpress i'm going to try to find the link and have it written in my description box And when you're blending in your foundation, you don't want to forget your jawline and you want to blend downwards towards your neck, this area right here, so that we do not see like lines of demarcation between your neck and your face. So now that everything is to my liking, I'm just going in with my beauty sponge and I'm just using that to furthermore blend everything in. this is what we have so far and everything is blended in really nice and if you notice i didn't really go in with my foundation under my eyes because i know i'm still going to go in with my concealer and packing too much product under my eyes allows them to crease a lot so i realized that leaving it bare and just going in with my concealer when i'm ready helps me reduce creasing a bit so if you notice that you have lots of creasing under your eyes you might just be putting too much product and you might just want to you know leave that place bare and just go ahead and apply your concealer when you're ready so now going in with my concealer i'm going to be using two shades today the concealer i'm using is from juvia's place and i'm going to be using the shade 12 and the shade 10. 12 is kind of like a shade or two lighter than 10. i like to use 12 under my eyes because i've been feeling the whole bright under eye look lately and i'll use 10 in some specific areas so going in with um 12 first so i like to leave this to dry down a little bit before blending it out and i do that because i realized or i've noticed that this gives fuller coverage when i leave it to dry down a little bit so while i'm waiting for that to dry down i'm going to go in with my black opal foundation stick in the shade ebony brown and i'm just going to use this to contour my face just to you know give it a little bit of definition and all of that stuff And I'm not sure if you guys know this, but the places that you tend to highlight and contour um, when it comes to your face depends on the shape of your face. You don't just go and highlight and contour any part of your face. You want to follow the structure and the shape of your face and basically just enhance 
your features based on what you already have going on at least that's how i like to highlight and contour because i know that these days we have lots of tiktok trends they actually really look nice but some of them i'm just like hmm i don't know so now that that is done i'm going to move on to blush and i'm going to be going in with my nyx sweet cheeks and i think this is in the shade almost famous if i'm correct bombshell actually not almost famous i'm just going to go ahead and apply these on my cheeks i'm going in with a clean blending brush So now I'm going to move on to blend out the concealer. You want to make sure you're tapping on the same spot and gradually spreading it. You don't want to drag. You want to go ahead and do the same thing that you did with the foundation. Just tap, tap in. You can go in with your beauty sponge and just use that to blend in the edges as well so that we do not see no hash lines. And I'm being this detailed because I'm trying to make this video beginner friendly as well so you don't find it too complicated or too hard to understand as a beginner makeup takes lots of practice at first it might seem really really hard but once you've been doing it for a while and you've gotten to understand your face and basically when you've been doing something for a while it tends to get really easy so don't get frustrated when it doesn't look like what you're seeing online just keep practicing and you'll be fine And I'm blending down towards this area because I also like to highlight that point. So I like to go in with the excess from what we have from the top and just have that into that area. So because I already have the foundation on some parts of the blush, I'm going to go back in with the blush brush. I'm not adding more products. Just going back in with what we have left. I'm just going to use that to furthermore blend that in. So now that everything is blended into my liking, I'm going to move on to sets, the places that I just highlighted, and I'm going to be using my Huda Beauty setting powder in the shade Kunafa. I like to go in first with a brush for this part, and this is the same brush that I used to set my primer earlier. I'm just going to tap that in, dust off all the excess, tap that in again, dust off all the excess so that we don't have too much product. And I'm just going to go ahead and use my beauty sponge to blend again under my eyes just to remove any creasing under that area in case we have any before i go ahead and set So I use the same opportunity to set my smile lines as well even though they still become visible before the end of the makeup but at this point I'm giving up on my smile lines to be honest like I talk too much maybe maybe that's why I have lots of smile lines so I just try to set them just to keep them in check for you know a little bit and I don't set my nose I don't set the bridge of my nose at all with a powder I learned this tip from Tola Banks her name is Tola Banks on Instagram she's an amazing artist I took a master class with her and she doesn't set um, her nose with a setting powder and since I've been doing it really I really like it I like the look of it so no explanation I just don't set it because Tola Banks said don't set it and I like how it looks when I don't set it so yeah so moving on to one of my absolute favorite parts I'm going to be setting with my Fenty Beauty bronzer in the shade Mocha Mami. After blush, this is my second favorite part when it comes to makeup. I like the way you know it brings warmth back to the cheeks, and that is what your bronzer does. Your bronzer just adds warmth back to you know all the highlights and all of that good stuff that you've already done. So this is just going to bring warmth back into your face. So we're adding this to the same place that I already contoured. I'm just using this to also set those areas. Just can't stop thinking about you. I just can't stop thinking about you. 
did anyone else notice that my skin is actually doing good i'm trying so much not to talk about it so i don't jinx it but sis my skin is doing really good these days and i'm so happy you guys i'm so happy because the past few months hmm, has been crazy i'm going to go ahead and use the same product to also contour my nose going back into my setting powder in my beauty sponge i'm just going to use this to set or to bake i don't even know what i've called this step that i'm doing now just to furthermore give this area structure and i'm going to go back in under my eyes again and just apply a little bit more focusing on that area that tends to crease and i'm not going to blend that out yet now to my absolute favorite part i'm going to be going in with my minted cosmetics blush and this is in the shade buried away this you guys this blush is so beautiful and blush is just my absolute favorite part when it comes to makeup i'm so extra when it comes to blush so i like my blush to blind my haters not like i have any haters that i'm aware of anyways but blush is just everything and can we get into that shade gorgeous And I'm just using whatever we have left to just, you know, add to the remaining parts of my face so that we don't have colors just coming out from um, my cheeks. Not like I added anything, just, you know, dusting away. Now I'm going to go into my Inman Pressed Powder and I'm just going to be using this to set the remaining parts of my face. And I'm not sure you guys noticed, but I didn't apply nothing on my lid at all that's because when i'm doing my everyday makeup i like to leave it bare not apply anything and just go ahead and set with my um what's the name with my powder my face powder i'm just going to go in with the same beauty sponge that i've been using all day Moving on to brows, I'm going to be using my Maybelline Ultra Slim Brow Pencil in the shade Black Brown. My brows are a bit full at the moment. I think I should have actually shaped it a bit before starting, but it's okay. Let's leave them to grow out a little bit and we'll try to work with it. So now that that is done you guys i've gone back to cleaning up my brows with a concealer again i don't do it all the time but sometimes i go ahead and use my elega concealer in the shade toast and this shade is really close um, to my skin tone so it doesn't look overly defined or anything like that Alright you guys, so my brows are done and this is what we have and I'm not sure how I feel about them. I feel like they look a little bit weird but we're just going to ignore them because every day can't be good brow days and you guys just, you know, ignore these ugly brows and I don't think they look all that bad. But anyway, which way is moving on to lashes. The one I'm going to be using today is from AliExpress and you guys, let me put you on these nice mink lashes. I just discovered them on AliExpress. You get like different types of lashes, different type of mink lashes actually for $25. I think I got up to 10 styles. They will send you like variety of styles for just $25 and the quality is amazing they look really really nice I'm going to have the link to it in my description box the only downside is that they only compact like this you don't have like that extra case I can't seem to find anyone around there but you know that case that you usually have your lashes packed in you don't get that with this one but I'm not really bothered because at the end of the day you know you get what you pay for that is not really a big deal to me but they have like really really nice styles I'm going to leave the link in my description box just in case you're interested 
interested and the one that i'm going to be using today is this short one because when it comes to everyday wear i really like my lashes short so let's go ahead and apply this one Now I'm just dusting off the excess powder that we left under the eyes earlier. Going in with my regular shade of powder, I'm just using that to blend the hash line that we have going on there. Moving on to lips, I'm going to be lining with my Maybelline Super Stay Matte Ink in the shade Protector. If you've been watching my videos, you already know that that is my go-to. I love it. So that's pretty much it for lining. So now going in with my NYX Butter Lip Gloss in the shade Fortune Cookie and Ginger Snap. I'm going to go in with um, Ginger Snap first and Fortune Cookie after. And just in case you want a detailed tutorial on this lip combo, I'm going to leave a card right here. I filmed that a while ago, so I'm going to leave a card right here. You can go ahead and check that out. The smell on this lip gloss is amazing, you guys, especially this ginger snap. I love the smell. All right, you guys, so we're done and this is what we have. And I bruised my lip in this area and this area right here. I was trying to peel off a dead skin that we had there and now it's red and annoying. But any which ways, we're going to ignore that. And I'm not going to be using a fixing spray today because I recently started that habit. And there's no particular reason to be honest. I just think that my makeup looks good and it lasts regardless of using the sprays or not. So I'm just going to get my hair together and I'll be right back with you guys. So this is the final look and this is what we have. I hope you found this video helpful. Do not forget to give a huge thumbs up. And just in case you're interested in the hair that I have on as well, I'm going to leave a card right here so you can go ahead and check that out. Drop comments, let me know what you guys think. Are we feeling this look or not? Let me know in the comment section. And do not forget to hit on the subscribe button, join the family. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.